History is one of the greatest blessings. I'ma start out with the Mongols and the succession. Led by the greatest king is Khan. He conquered Asia, so he's on top of them all. You can't forget about the Mongol and the army. Made of warriors and the cavalry. Then depended on speed and agility. Their trade and culture strength made them great. Peasants don't have a say, 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 say. King know how to play, 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 play. It's because of his story, baby. That game of life, that game of life. Now it's time to switch over to medieval sassy. A world where kings on top of everything. Next thing up is the nobles. Nobles over nights and nights above the peasants. Feudalism was the system. Land was hereditary in exchange for service because knights had a coat of chivalry. The Pope's had authority. They gained existence that created morals. They also were involved in power struggles. They had authority over land. And ruled over all its authority. Peasants don't have a say, 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 say. King know how to play, 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 play. That's because of his story, really. That game of life, that game of life. Last but not least, we got the African states. You got Swahili in the Great Zimbabwe and the trans are here in trade. Swahili founded by the Bantu people, Zimbabwe dominated Central Africa. As the capital, camels do place with it. Trade for gold and salt flourish. Great rulers considered sacred, including the rather's two standing seats. That's the end. Ding, class is over. That's the bell. Hope you learned your lesson. Class is out of session. Stay. At least that's what people say.